Whoa, it's Woolsey. Welcome back to another Geometry Dash video. I'm finally gonna do it. You guys have been nagging me for so long that you wanted me to use a modification in the level editor. It's called Better Edit by HJ Fod. You've probably seen it on other people's Twitch streams or YouTube content where they've got all these fancy little tools on the screen and it's like a big, huge mod that makes creating much easier. In the GD Modding Discord server, which I'll leave a link to in the description of this video alongside all of HJ Fod's social media, because he's a very talented coder. I want to give him all the respect for developing this dangerous download, apparently. It's got the whoa there. It just knows that I am about to go to town with this. The folder you get in that Discord server also comes with a TXT, which shows you how to install the mod. I am not showing you how to do it. <laughs> but you'll see, as soon as I hit create, there's a backup button now. There's a plus button. I get a preset. You can save a preset for a level. How cool is that? This is amazing. I can put an alpha trigger on group number one and save that as a preset. How cool is that? I can save it as invis. Boom. Preset created instantly. So I want to make a new level. Select preset invis. That is so sick. And then I press the edit button and it's there, right? Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh god, there's so much stuff that I just need to get my head around before I speak on any of it. Lock. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. What the heck? Okay, so there's new key binds for everything. Oh my god, control, scroll, zoom. What? How far can you go in? Oh my god, you can go infinitely. Oh my god. <laughs> What? Okay, I want to look at a glow object. Why is this the first thing that's coming to my mind? I don't know, but I want to see the grain. Oh, dude, the zoom is crazy, and it's on control scroll as well. ID? Advanced filter. Oh my god. So if I have a bunch of squares that are specifically on group number 10, what on earth is this edit menu? So if I have a couple of these squares on like group 4 and there's a couple that are on group 10, I can just go and delete ID and type in 10 and I can just select those. That is so cool. This is editing heaven. So I can zoom to a specific amount, right? Okay, that's cool as well. Wait, that's grid size? That is no way that's grid size. Oh my god, it is! Wait. Wh what? Oh, the pause menu is so much different. So you can see the amount of objects in the LDM. I see that. Show keybinds. That's just permanent. Okay. That's probably helpful for me to get to know what's going on. Preview saws? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell. Oh! <gasps> No way you can just- Oh my god, that's so helpful! Yes! Remap IDs, I don't know what that is. Create color triggers, paste string, oh god. Always use custom- Oh my god! There's so much for me to learn on this. What? Become unfunny? Disables easter- Okay. Custom paste state. Oh dude. Oh dude. So I have a saw. I have this- Oh. What is this color menu? Okay, so one. We're gonna have that yellow, and then we're gonna have the inside red. So I have a saw blade right there. It's kind of McDonald's-y. If I copy the values here, and I paste it onto another saw, oh my goodness, you can like choose, oh. Is that not, oh wait, there's buttons down here, nice. I was gonna say, that is way too complicated. Okay, so I have this. Wait, what are all- what's all this text? Rotation zero. Wait, so if I have a square and I rotate it, it tells me the degree number? No shot, dude. No shot. Yeah, no shot. What- what is that? Oh, it does! If you deselect it and reselect it. Okay, interesting. Type decoration, so is square like type object? Solid. Okay, that makes sense. And then like- Hazard, yeah. What's going on here? I don't know what this is. Like, why is the two tabs here? They both go to the same thing. If I select one, it selects... What? Huh? So when I zoom in and out, it tells me how far I'm zooming in. This is... Oh. Oh, and I can zoom in. Okay, that's something I don't like, but it's probably able to be changed. If I double click on something too fast, then it just assumes that I want to open the color menu. That's sick, but what if I'm trying to select something? I guess you just got to get your head around the selecting strats. What else do we have in- I don't even know where to start. Like, what am I supposed to- Rotate saws, fade out percentage. 
The percentage text below the progress bar will automatically fade out when the screen is not being... Like, what does that even mean? I'm reading these words and nothing is being processed in my brain. Okay, I think I know what it means. So, yeah, okay, so that goes away. That... Like, tiny little stuff like that. There's so much attention to detail. Okay, so LDM removes those pulses I remember now. Have I got anything else that's LDM? No. I should probably go into, like, a big level, right? Crazy 3 by Dav JT. I want to get like a good grasp of how the view systems work because that's really intriguing to me. If I go view, LDM, oh my goodness, that is actually really cool. You can just toggle all, oh my, oh my, oh my. That's definitely something that was needed in the editor. Pulses? Wait, no way. So when I'm playtesting with the music here, and I click pulse. That's like the max size and that's the minimum size. I see. Okay, that makes sense. Now, preview mode, pretty self-explanatory. It's just a nicer place for it. BPM? Is that like making guidelines with the song? If I have like boom, 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 boom. Wait, BPM? <gasps> oh! What is, what is, oh god, did I just crash? Yep, I crashed the game. Well, uh, don't do that. But my best guess is that that feature will allow you to just put in the BPM and it'll automatically put the lines on all of the beats that you need. That's really cool. Oh, trigger durations. Interesting. You can disable all of that. Yeah, this is awesome. I really like having the immersion. I, I want to use that in my videos, but I also would need to get used to this whole mod first, which is crazy. Ha, huh, I say while I'm looking at crazy. Yeah, I'll try my best to get used to this. I mean, it's definitely useful for my videos, but I probably won't use all of the features for it just because I want to follow like the traditions of the vanilla editor because when 2.2 comes, I can't guarantee that all of these features are going to be in. What if I get used to them and they get removed, you know? Grid? Okay, that's kind of helpful. Yeah, a bunch of people bully me for not using grid or beg your pardon, using grid. Dash orb, is that going to show you like the trajectory of a dash orb? Uh, oh, it does. Oh, dude, that's awesome. We have grid size, which is immense because that means you can easily... <gasps> Wait. Oh my God, that literally puts a painter in GD. If I make the grid absolutely tiny, right? Does that mean that with swipe disabled, I can just... Oh my goodness gracious. How many objects is that though? Yeah, you can you can easily go overboard, but that's a very easy way to just draw. Wait, I need like pixel objects. Hold on. Wolsey. Like that. How big is that in game? I have no idea because this grid is throwing me off. That is actually busted. What? There's so many systems that I'm not even aware of yet. Like, what is what is happening? Now I'm just I'm just flabbergasted. Like, I don't know what to say or do. Like, there's just so much for me to dive into. What are these buttons? Default is white. I can't actually use that for anything. Okay. Oh, you click it and it puts you on the default. I see. So you can have white. You can have what? Okay. What? So you can just use these values. That's so strange. Next free offset. What does that mean? I'm not big brain enough for any of this. I need like a tutorial object string. What? Like what? I don't get it. <laughs> oh, okay. I understand it now. It took me a little while, but that next free offset is basically like, okay, I want a group, but it has to be after 10. If I got rid of that, then it would just be one. Yeah. That is pretty interesting. I understand the offset thing now, for sure. Where else did I see offset? Next free offset. So I want a group that's like after 100. Or 200 then. I typed the wrong number and I press next free. Okay, 200. That is interesting. I don't know how useful that really is, but... <gasps> oh! Oh! Uh. Okay, so this is a quarter space, so you don't have to go into this like I always do in my videos and select that just to move it a quarter block. You can just do that. That's a half block. Oh, God. Oh, God. That is... That's something. I don't know what this means. Wait. Okay, now I do because I'm using it on a level that I've created. Wow, that is cool. So I can hide a bunch of stuff. Wow. I'm blown away with this. I'm figuring it out eventually. Oh, I can name it? And I can change the... Wow. Dude, what? Default opacity. Oh, this is so helpful. Okay, yeah, you want to keep it low, but I can be so selective now. I'm probably going to keep it on 25. That's heat. This... Oh, my God. He's written, like, descriptions like Rob. Oh, this is, like, a better maintenance system for sure. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh. Oh, this gray line. 
The gray line, dude. I never knew what the gray line was for the longest time, but that is basically showing you your exact position within the level. Like as soon as it crosses these triggers, you see the change right there. You can turn that off if you wanted. I guess, I mean, it's not too important. Something else that's worth noting is the fact that the portal lines are color coded. Like the gameplay boundaries, you see we got orange, we're gonna have a blue one here like normal. That is really cool. I'm glad that exists. Just so you can tell what's what when you've got a bunch of portals if you're Zaro or something. Oh my god, dude. I found the list of key bindings. Don't tell me you can customize these. What does clock and Z mean? Hello? Okay, the clock is like an interval if you're holding down the key bind. So say if I make that one and I make it so after half a second I am holding and I place down this slope. Oh my god, I'm just holding down the button and it's just repeating it. That's so sick! Oh, hold on a minute. This could be huge. Oh, we can duplicate so quickly. Boom, look at that. We're building up the glow piece. Oh, it's it's lagging. Oh, it's definitely lagging. I'm trying to scroll right now and yeah, it's had enough of my shenanigans. Yeah. Well, you know. You can't do everything. This is huge though, because imagine if I have a square right here and I want to move it really far across the level. I can go into keybinds, I can search right like that. I can change the interval to like one millisecond. After 500 milliseconds, we can basically just shoot this square right across the level. Can we chase it? Oh, it's gone. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, he's going, he's going, he's going. How long is our level now? Five minutes. Not bad. Right, big. Let's say we have V for that, okay? And we just hold V right now. Look how far this percentage bar is going. This object is literally flying. And if I make the grid absolutely huge, look at it in context to my cube size. This object is gone. Like, I'm talking gone. With 92 minutes. 346 minutes. Just like that. That took about one minute. And we're just going to be stuck at zero forever. This is awesome. Wow, I'm really finding the most useless uses of this. And then here's my genius idea for this. We deselect for a second. We get another object. We make that the group parent on the left. And then we can select both of these. And then I will scale and scale this all the way up to two times. And now the level will be twice as <laughs> We go on hurting each other. Okay, it does go over a thousand minutes. That's crazy. Well, wow. That is certainly an interesting mod that I'm probably going to end up using, to be honest. As I said, I want to keep it close to vanilla when I'm actually building stuff, just so the majority of my viewers can understand what's happening, but that's sick. But thank you so much for watching this Better Edit Showcase video. Shout out to HJ Fod for that. That is such a brilliant mod. The GD modding community is actually so huge. I never realized. Check the links in the description for sure. Leave a, leave a like and subscribe. I forgot my outro. And... Have a good day.